fellow St. Lucians, today, Saturday, 11th March 2023, our nation continues to grieve after yet another night of senseless gun violence in Viewfort. Our hearts go out to the people who lost families and loved ones who were killed or injured during these past days. I want to assure St. Lucians that we continue to take the issue of gang warfare seriously. We are working in the Royal St. Lucia Police Force and the community to restore peace. Our children, the residents and citizens have the right to live and work safely anywhere in this country. Schools in Viewfort will reopen on Monday. I want to thank the medical and security officials who respond to these tragedies with bravery and professionalism. Today, I met with the top officials of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. The briefing focused on the carnage of the last 48 hours and the steps being taken to combat the gang-related activities and retaliation in the town of Viewfort. As of Thursday, March 9th to Saturday, March 11th, seven localized homicides have been reported, apparently in reprisals to the killing of a well-known individual. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force responded immediately and has been deployed and stationed within the community for over 48 hours. Ammunition and firearms have been retrieved and persons arrested due to the tactical work of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. To date, we have taken the following actions to arrest the situation in Viewfort. The Regional Security System, RSS, and other assets have been contacted and will be on the ground early next week. 24-hour SSU patrol is being deployed in Viewfort. The police will be given more resources to assist in this upsurge of violence. Special operations will be conducted by the police. New legislation will be enacted to deal with the suppression of crime. I once again stress the importance of collaboration between law enforcement and residents. The government will continue to provide support and resources to help the police restore peace. I ask for the support and cooperation of the public as the police set up their operations, particularly in Viewfort. No one wins when this situation is exploited for political gains. This is not a time for anyone to gloat, rejoice, or point fingers. It's not a time to make baseless statements which can only create more panic and fear. We are taking charge of the situation. We will succeed. We will build a safe and more secure society. We must fight these criminal networks called gangs and encourage our young people to reject their lifestyles. Especially in times of tragedy, we must come together as a nation. We must support one another and work together to prevent future acts of violence. We will not let fear, envy, and hatred divide us. We will stand together as St. Lucians and work towards a brighter future for all. Tomorrow, Sunday, March 12th, I will meet with some civil society and business leaders to discuss the current situation and seek solutions to the problems. It is time to act and I ask for your support. There will be some difficult decisions to be made and some strong actions will be taken to deal with these cowards and criminals. This is our country and we will prevail. May God bless us all. I thank you.